So a question I've been getting the last couple weeks, and it kind of keeps coming up throughout the years actually, is what should I do or when should I position my foot or my ankle at different points in the pedal stroke? I, I get a lot. When should I drop my heel and that sort of thing? And I always encourage my clients not to try and actively control their pedal stroke because we're pedaling very quickly, 90 RPMs, many of us, and trying to actively control a quick, quick coordination process like ankle position, I think is kind of a, a, a pretty difficult task, um, almost to be considered, I would say, impossible to do on a, on a conscious basis, uh, 100% anyway. There's a few things that I focus that are important for people to remember. One is don't pull up on the backstroke. Um, I still hear people, I still hear about people doing that and it's, they, they do it to be more efficient or to get the, eliminate the dead spot of their pedal stroke. And it's not really very, it's not effective at all. And actually it's, it's likely to be detrimental to the rest of your pedal stroke. Um, pulling up can actually inhibit how much we're pushing down in a lot of cases. And frankly, the muscles that control that, they're just not meant to do that. Those, those hip flexor muscles are, are primarily uh, postural muscles and stability muscles. Now there are some visualizations that I think can be helpful. The most common being, you know, pretend you have mud on the, on the bottom of your shoe and towards the bottom of the pedal stroke, you pretend like you're dragging the mud off the bottom of the shoe just to kind of bring you through the bottom of the pedal stroke. There's nothing wrong with these things and, and focusing and visualizing these things occasionally is certainly not going to be detrimental. But trying to micromanage the ankle position is what I'm was is what I caution against. Now it's important to remember that the ankle is meant to be it's meant to be used as a coordinating device or a coordinating uh, influence on the pedal stroke. It's not really there to produce a whole bunch of power or force. Um, and if there, I do have another video about. Uh, how the ankle does the coordination and how you, how you might be able to train it to do it a little bit more efficiently. Um, and I'll put a link to that up here. Uh, but additionally, I'm a big believer that our bike fit should direct uh, our pedal stroke. It's another way of saying, if we get everything set up correctly, then you probably shouldn't have to think about what your ankle is doing. It will just do what it needs to. Now saddle height, saddle fore aft, and especially cleat position are large determinants of uh, what position our ankle is in at any given point. Now, if you've ever watched somebody on high-speed video pedaling, you'll notice that they actually have quite a bit of variability in that uh, ankle or more to the point, the, the toe down or the foot position relative to the ground. And this goes to sort of the, the coordination that takes place through the ankle. It really varies the foot position quite a bit um, in order to smooth out and hopefully make more efficient the pedal stroke. Now, when I have people in here and their cleat position or their saddle height or both are kind of misplaced, what I find is they still have the variability in their ankle. They just have it in the wrong spots. For instance, most of the time what we expect is that at the top of the pedal stroke, we're going to have quite a bit of toe down. We're trying to, by doing that, it's actually helping ease us through the, bring us through the top of the pedal stroke quicker. But by the time we go through the first portion of power phase and end up in this horizontal crank position or this three o'clock position, that, that ankle, that foot position usually drops down to not quite level. It'll generally will still be a tiny bit toe down. And then at the bottom of the pedal stroke, we get it back. We get some toe down posture back again. And when people have their cleats misplaced, we see some of that flipped. We see maybe a little less toe down at the top of the pedal stroke and maybe we drop, they drop negative at three o'clock, which is bad, but then at the bottom of the pedal stroke, they end up toe down again. It's essentially just the coordination of everything is off. So again, I don't think we should try and consciously control the ankle position. Certainly don't try and pull up on the backstroke. Some visualizations are good to try and, you know, train the pedal stroke. And, and again, there's that video I mentioned to you I did about how, how to train the ankle to be more coordinated. But if you're really struggling, you're going to want to take a look at your cleat position as well. And that's kind of for another video. I do have other videos on cleat position and foot and ankle position that I'll put a playlist a link to above and below here in the description. Uh, but I also have another video I'm putting out this week on it, um, and it'll be on my Patreon channel. So if you'd like to see that, you can go over there and support me there. Um, but that's all I have for this one. Thanks everybody. I'll see you next time.